Hello everyone, Steve again. Been pretty quiet for the past few months with experiences and stuff like that, but tonight some sort of energy came over me and it it was Mary's energy, Mother Mary. And she explained to me that she wanted me to explain the story of like how Jesus was born. And it was, it was an energetic exchange between them and Joseph. And in all the stories that were told, it was like an immaculate conception that Joseph was given a dream. But it wasn't a dream. They were practicing like the Jewish form of Tantra, which I mean, that's all I really know because everyone knows what Tantra is. But all it is is they merge their energy bodies together while having intercourse and they vibrated on a higher consciousness, a divine energy. And when they were in this energy field, they were able to conceive energy from the higher dimensions into their own body. And that was imprinted into Mary as they were having intercourse. And what, what the memories that I got that Mary and Joseph gave me both is that um, they did the, a lot of this in secret because it, it wasn't practiced. It was more, I mean, I would say like a Kabbalist, you know, and they were Jewish too. So we're practicing mystic unions, vibrating their body, meditating, and, in, and morphing into the divine and the divine masculine and the divine feminine and this allowed the energetic imprint for a divine child and this is what caused jesus to be like the prophet you know and i was looking up the stories i wanted to see when the stories were made in matthew and them they were all like 250 years after this all happened so we don't have a first-hand account and I think that's strange. So why would, so the church was telling people that it was all immaculate and it's all designed so people don't do the things that Mary and Joseph were doing. And they had to hide away in the Grange. They had to give birth because it, it wasn't accepted. But Joseph, very loving, caring, and strong. He told he taught Jesus Torah, and um, there was like an epidemic around them. I'm not sure who it was, but there would be people in black robes and stuff, and they would take women from the from the mosque and from the sanctuaries where they were teaching people these things. And it was, it's just been a battle, you know. And it's just designed to control people so they don't vibrate. So they don't fix their energetic cells. So they stay stuck here, reincarnating, and keep doing the same thing over and over again. War, destruction, hate, it never gets fixed because people don't fix their energy body. And that's what Mary and Joseph were doing. They were doing the energy work to bring in a new era for humanity. And it gets squashed all the time. That's what Mary wanted me to speak to you about. And it's just important because we have this energy ca capacity to heal our wounds so we don't fight with each other, so we can get along, so we have a common interest to open our hearts and express our love with being human. And it's just rough because my awakening has been very hard for like four years being called crazy always like interacting with high energies and it doesn't matter it's all the same it's just variants of different cultures and different cultures have different energy signatures but it's all similar it's all the same and it's just everything and it's just kind of overcame me today when like i was just preparing a meal and this energy came into me 
and then it was like Mary, and she told me, like, you need to speak about this. You need to tell people. And um, it's just crazy that, like, because, like, I mean, there's nothing against Matthew or Luke or anything, but, I mean, this was over 200 years of this happening. So they were indoctrinated in the stories, and they were probably told lies. So they wrote about it. Oh, this is a scripture. This is what it is. It's not wrong, you know? But, like, maybe they didn't have the ability to see through the energy. And it's not their fault, you know? But, like, we need to stop perpetuating the lies of what people are told. So that's probably about it right now. <clears throat> maybe I'll speak later about it. I'll probably get I'll get everything together. Maybe maybe all the books and stuff. But I just really wanted to talk about this. <clears throat>